Okay, here we are in Newcastle, Australia. It's about an overnight uh, cruise uh, going north from Sydney on the east coast of Australia. The most unique part about Newcastle, I think, is this. It's called the Newcastle Sea Bath. So there's a lot of problems with uh, jellyfish and sharks and whatnot on this coast of Australia. So the way the people in Newcastle have solved this problem is they went in to the rocks on the shore and they carved out a big uh, pool and an area with sand and it looks to me like they fill this thing up or pump it out every day they uh, they have a large pump system which you'll see in a minute it uh, drains and refills this open air sea bath water temperature today is 72 degrees which is really nice comfortable about the same as Santa Monica in the summertime maybe a little warmer this is I think this is the drain structure here. I'm not sure. These little canals. But uh, it's quite a rocky place there with lots of tide pools. So you can hop down on the rocks and go look in the tide pools. You don't like swimming in the pool. And over on this side, there are, is a huge tide pool. And there's a big sandy area also enclosed by a seawall keep out the jellyfish and the sharks and that's where the little kids seem to enjoy playing the most this Newcastle sea bath is just a short uh, light rail ride away from the Civic Center where they drop us off so when you pull in the port of Newcastle there's a, a bus that uh, takes you to the Civic Center and then from the Civic Center you can hop on the light rail and this is the end of the end of the light rail stop at the beach this section over here has shallow edge the, the depth of it is from maybe six inches down to three feet at the deepest so it's great for the little kids to play in one thing that I noticed was that there's a lot of parents and kids. I mean, it just looks like a really good family uh, place. And it's a Saturday, so it's like they're all having a great time. A lot of going on of this sea bath area. It's quite rocky out there, so I imagine the locals, or they know where the rocks are and the reefs are, and they're able to surf between them. But it's about 80 degrees, 82 degrees today. It's nice for walking. It's a little bit warm in the sun, but shade feels great. You can see that it is low tide at the moment from the way the rocks are exposed and all the tide pools over there. There's a lot of parents teaching their kids how to ride surfboards in this area. They put the little kid on top of a boogie board or a surfboard and they drag him through the water here. Let him practice with their balance. Imagine before they take him out in the waves. I think it'd be a little dangerous here to take the little ones out in the surf, but you'll, as you'll see in a minute, over on the other side where uh, the majority of the surfing is taking place. This sea bath excuse me the sea bath is free open to the public provided by the city of newcastle they do all the maintenance there's a kind of a refreshment stand over there where you can buy drinks or whatever i suppose there's some people see if you can find grandma where is she
And I'll stop here and get the sand off my feet before I go any farther so I don't sand my feet off on my flip-flops. So wash my feet off. Continue walking around over to the surfing area. You can see it's a beautiful day. There's only one lifeguard station for that whole bath complex, uh, which I thought was interesting. Yeah, now we're going to walk over to the There, I guess. It looks like they probably change the water in the baths every day. And I'm sure there's no chlorine in it, it's just plain seawater. So. Over here is where the surfers are. And we'll head down. This looks like the pump house, that round thing. It looks like a igloo, I believe, is where the pumps are located. And there were people jumping off the wall, that high wall there to the right, into that canal right there. It's fairly deep. So some of the kids were using that as a jumping rock right there. They have a big sign on there that says that the pump equipment activates automatically, so be careful. But over here is a lot of reef, uh, but you'll see there's probably 10 or 15 surfers out there, and they know just how to catch those waves so that they can surf in between the rocks. So imagine once you surf there for a while you get the hang of it. There's grandma again. So this pool over here on just to my immediate right, the smaller pool has uh, laps, has lanes in it for people swimming laps, you can see that. And then the bigger pool over farther to the right is for this general swimming. Full of kids, families and whatnot. I imagine there's some pretty good tide pools out there. It would have been fun to go down there and see what could be found, but uh, a little bit of a drop off there, so I didn't, I didn't want to pop off the wall and get out on the rock, but you can obviously see that it's low tonight. It's so. it a good day. Newcastle is a beautiful city, uh, it's the largest coal export harbor in the world, they claim. So, interesting place to see. We enjoyed our day there.